basis. The stuff on the walls is 4,500 years old. A kind of cartoon view of the civilization the plough created. I mean, look, here's irrigation. There are these people carrying water pots, you see them? And they carry them across and they pour the water into a garden that has a wall around it. And then over here, look, <laughs> there's a fellow doing a bit of weeding. There's the plough. They domesticated oxen. They tried to domesticate any animal that they could get their hands on. I mean, take a look at this. Animal flatten its back, tie its back legs, hang on to its front legs, stuff food down its throat and hope it'll learn to love you. He didn't get too far with that one. It was a hyena. Well, you've got a growing community and plenty of spare food and you'll need to protect yourself. So making weapons becomes very important. And here on this wall, there's a whole thing about handling metals. Look. Here are the weights and measures people checking on how much metal is going to be used. Next to them, the furnace men. You see the way they're raising the temperature? They're blowing on these tubes to create a draft in the furnace to get the temperature high. Next to them, here's the molten metal being poured into a mold. And here, the fellow's beating it flat. Okay, you get yourself a kingdom, you get what you deserve. You get bureaucrats. Here they are, the scribes, writing everything down. See the pens behind their ears? In this case, they're noting taxes. Here are the people coming in to pay their taxes, led persuasively by the local police. Here's a policeman with the rod of office. More policemen. Here's an Egyptian scruff of the neck. He obviously doesn't want to pay. If you end up not paying, they get out their whips, and they tie you to a pole, and that's what you get for not coming up with the money. <laughs>